No. Yeah, we get to find the interval. So the way we find our interval is we take the point estimate. Remember what a point estimate is? It comes from a sample. Minus E, which is the maximum difference between your point estimate and your population parameter. So that gives you a range that gives you the furthest bounds that you could be away from your population parameter, which is in this case, what goes in the middle of this? Yeah, yeah why not P? Because it's not under proportions. Yeah, we're not dealing with portions anymore, we're dealing with averages. And the interpretation, once you find this, which you should be working on right now, go ahead and do that on your own. The interpretation is you don't know exactly what the, the population mean for cocaine babies is. You don't, you don't know. But you're 99% sure it's going to fall within these two intervals, or at least two, two, this range. Why is that important? Well, if you're producing something that's, that's geared towards helping these, these children, these, these unfortunate children, well, then you're going to want to make sure that it holds up to most of the kids, right? By far most of the kids. You don't want to make something that only helps 20% of these cocaine babies. Maybe it's something that, that weighs them accurately or something, I don't know, some sort of drug that is, is uh, based on their weight. You want to produce that drug that says, okay, give this do dose to them right when they're born. It'll help them out a lot. It'll help 99% of these kids. Okay, the 1%, we need to find something else for them. But 99%, we're pretty, we're 99% we're sure it's going to help these babies from that range. Does that make sense to you? Okay. So we got our, we got our mean, which is our, and we'll subtract the 121.71. And we'll add it. What do you get on the left interval? Left, uh, sorry, left bound for the interval. Two thousand five hundred and seventy. Like this. Seventy. I mean, like this. <laughs> okay, good. I think I can do this one. So given this information, you're not positive, you're not positive that the actual population mean is going to fall within this range, but you're 99% sure it is. That's enough to make a good decision, right? That's enough to say, I'm going to produce this one item that I'm 99% sure it's going to work uh, for, for these babies, because you're pretty sure the average is falling within That was supposed to change the margin of error, like the, um, we're supposed to round it according to the <coughs> Yeah, you can. Uh, really, we're, we have too many decimal places here. You could easily do a 0.3 and a 0.7. Right? You don't want to get too much off from, from that. So if you're using the rounding rule, then yes, that's perfectly appropriate. So we round at the last step? Or yeah, round the last step. Like they said a 121 It really wouldn't matter since you're adding it and subtracting it. That, that doesn't make that much of a difference. Uh, if you're one decimal place past what your mean, what your information is giving you, then you'll always be okay. The problem is, is that if this was like uh, 2,700 point something something, and you rounded to the tenth here, that would be a problem. Okay, that would be, awful. or it could be potentially awful a little bit. How many people understood our example here? Good deal. Very good. Now, this ends the part that's going to be on your test on Monday. Right now, we're going to get into the last chapter that we really look at in depth. We might go back into a couple sections that, if you've noticed, we've, we've skipped a couple of them. Uh, we might go back and do that last week of school. But for right now, we're going to talk about Chapter 8. <coughs> chapter 8 is, is what you try to get to in statistics. Chapter 8 is it. It is called hypothesis testing. It's what we worked all this semester to get to. It's the exciting part. It's the part that you're actually going to see, oh, this is actually useful. Are you starting to see more and more use in this stuff as we go through our semester? <coughs> At the beginning, you're like, why would I want to put data in a table? I don't care. I don't care about this freaking data. I don't, I don't. But now, we're actually able to make decisions and determine whether something's a good choice or a bad choice based on actual factual data. That's important. <coughs>